Hello there guys, my name is Kyle Shadonks the Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about the London Resort. Now somebody actually commented down below about London Resort, about some, something else going down. Brand new concept image and also a BBC News article uh, from the results of the public consultation. So that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Uh, we do have uh, two other videos coming today. Uh, we have the next five years uh, from Six Flags St. Louis. And we also have, don't forget, another theme park news and update where we're going to be taking a look at some Discord images showing off the first piece of construction on site for the brand new Sidewinder Safari now coming in 2021 to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So if you can't wait for those videos and other videos going on throughout the rest of the next few weeks, including potentially, not confirmed, but potentially a Halloween trip, Make sure you go and like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss any of that thrilling content. Very important about the notification bell because uh, I want to keep you guys informed. And um, if we do have this Halloween trip confirmed, hopefully I'll be able to release more details close to the time. And uh, for now, let's talk about the details revealed in the London Resort in this article from BBC News. So I'm going to share with you the concept image, the brand new concept image released on behalf of this brand new information and share with you the key facts from the article. So officially from the BBC News article, as I'm showing you the brand new concept image, uh, the key points to take out of that was that a fresh look at proposals for the first major theme park to be built in Europe in nearly 30 years is underway following a public consultation. If it secures development consent, the London Resort will be the first European project of its kind since Disneyland Paris in 1992, of course, used to be known as Euro Disney. Uh, in July, the firm urged people to take part in an eight-week public consultation on, run on its website. Kent County Council said it is broadly supportive of the proposal. And bearing in mind, I don't know if you saw it on one of them, but I did watch one of the public consultations. So uh, I was there for one of them. Um, so basically, we've got responses from 1,200 people analysed following the consultation. And the CEO, uh, P.Y. Jabao, thanked those who responded and said we are taking all the feedback very seriously. So let's look at some statistics from the public consultation results. So of those who had their say, 80% said they wanted London Resort traffic to be separated from local traffic. While the majority of respondents supported the resort, 16% remained strongly opposed to the scheme altogether. 16% a little bit of a percentage, but an overall 100%. That's not too bad in favour of the project. More than 70% said they supported the resort's approach to the environment and biodiversity as well as sustainability, so that's a good percentage. The firm plans to leave a large proportion of the peninsula undeveloped, including Black Duck Marsh, Broadness Marsh, and the local wildlife site at Botany Marsh. New footpath routes will give people access to nature areas as they've not been able to visit before, while designated wildlife zones will be closed off to the public to protect the habitat. Very good there. If it gets the green light, construction could begin on the largely brownfield industrial site in early 2022 and it will eventually be a two-part resort. The first gate will be open by 2024 and the second gate will be open in 2029. The proposed resort will not only just provide employment opportunities but will also support skills development raising aspirations of young people, uh, said by a council spokesman. If successful, it will also benefit the local tourism, leisure, hospitality and cultural heritage sectors within Kent, added by the authorities on this particular topic. So there we go. That is the results of the public consultation in terms of percentages. So 16% strongly against this project, which to be fair to the 16% that are against it, I'm sure you have your reasons that are very important. Uh, and I'm sure the part will hopefully try and steer with those reasons. Despite you know, It's a you know, strong opposition despite all this. So, um, you know, hopefully they can be either taught around or they can, you know, try and live with it as best as they can. Um, because we do have to respect the people that are against the project. We don't have to just completely turn against them. We have to, you know, respect their wishes. Uh, so hopefully they'll take that 16% into account and they'll, uh, you know, f find a balanced way to, to sum it all up uh, and to help get the 16% somewhat satisfied with it uh, and keep them happy at the same time. Um, so looking at that public consultation, first of all, 16% is not a lot when you think about it. And uh, I like how they're protecting the habitat as well. 
and it now the so obviously from that we know that proposals are now underway and they're now going to uh, get the proposals ready and get the final proposal ready for um, getting for the, getting it ready for the council to accept it. So uh, that's what we're looking at right now: proposals and then developing the final proposal, which will be sent off to uh, the council, uh, ready for declining or exception, taking in every single factor. Which to the 16%, if it gets accepted, won't be very good news. However, hopefully the park can work around the 16% and try and include their their negative reasons why they may be against the project include them into the facts as to what they can do to improve the project in terms of their proposal development now leading into the the final proposal um so this is going to be a critical point now for the london resort i mean you've got to think this project all started back in 2012 as the paramount park kent uh this is around the same time when paramount park mercia was potentially going to happen at the time um Mercia, I think that's been completely cancelled, if I'm not mistaken, or it's just on the shelf for now. So that's not in the works at the moment, uh, especially with COVID. So I know that's not going to be in the works. But the London Resort, after 2012 and after, you know, but by the time it's 2022, it will be 10 years since it started this project. So uh, this is a long term project. And I think hopefully by 2022, we're going to bring you that very crucial video that the London Resort is is being built and i would love if the park's watching this to work with the park on doing on bringing in construction photos and construction updates and video footage to provide for you guys on the channel um i'd love to do that i'd love to work with the park on some construction updates so uh if they're listening i'm i'm open my emails in the about section <laughs> Um, but no, being, being serious uh, now, um, I think this is a really good project. I love what they're doing with this and, you know, very, very exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff. So uh, I can't wait to see it when it's all done and um, I, I can't wait to see the final proposals to see what we're actually going to get in terms of attractions because I think from the content image that you saw on your screen, I think people noticed about eight roller coasters potentially. So... Uh, very exciting stuff um and like i said this could be the first major project since um the euro disney in 1992 which became disneyland paris uh so this is the first major european theme park development and um, european development since disneyland paris in 1992 so you know this is a th th when it gets 2022 this will be a 30 year wait for a project on this scale and to turn around the swanscombe peninsula into this massive destination I'm not going to lie to you guys, I can't wait for 2024 to come around for the opening of this because you bet your lucky stars I'll be trying to get my, I'll be trying my absolute best to get down there for the opening in 2024 and vlog for you guys. Um, so this is going to be a very exciting project to keep watching, keep following the proposals and you know what they're going to change, what they're going to do to help the 16% be more satisfied with the results if they are going to get it accepted uh, in 2022 with the final proposal by the council. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with all that. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update from the London Resort. Uh, make sure you go check out our, uh, our other updates coming later today from Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and our next five years video from Six Flags St. Louis, as well as checking out the other video from today, which is technically a part two from yesterday, uh, the video from F Telling. So stay, let's go and watch that. Stay tuned for the other two videos. You can go over to the second channel as well, check out some more content on there. And for now, my name is Coast Chell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.